Hannah listens to Taylor Swift's Romeo and Juliet and imagines her own life as a love story. <laughs> Why not? Where her senior year at Eisenhower High School in Yakima, Washington is picture perfect. Dear Queen, Hannah Elizabeth. <laughs> they were that couple that was like, oh. But lest we forget, Romeo and Juliet is a tragic. Trying to tell myself, like, it's going to be okay. Like, life's going to go on, you know? Like, life's not bad. This is what happens, you know? But... It doesn't stop me from crying. Hannah is pregnant. The all-American girl has an all-American problem. 3,000 miles away in the working-class town of Haverhill, Massachusetts, 19-year-old Jeremy is a teen father and the exception to the rule. I could cook for the rest of my life making $12 an hour as long as I know my son and future wife are happy. Their happiness means more to me than mine. Jeremy logs 50 hours a week in a pub as a short order cook. He's a senior at Haverhill High. Love you. A father to nine-month-old Carter and a young man driven by his private history. I made a promise to myself when I was younger that I wasn't going to be like my dad. Because my dad walked out when I wasn't even born yet. My mom was a single mother for 90% of my life. Seeing her go through all the the struggle of trying to raise three kids on her own. I knew I could never do that to somebody, ever. Meanwhile, down in Louisville, Kentucky. What's your favorite subject? I love English. Okay, Mahogany. A tiny 14-year-old pregnant freshman named Mahogany is determined to be the first in her family to graduate from college. In the family. Yeah. I get uh, A's and B's, yeah. Yeah. but I'm really not satisfied with the B's. I'm trying to get all A's. Mahogany got pregnant between 8th and ninth grade. The father is no longer around. This was the first time you had had sex? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he actually did it like more after that. But yeah, that was the first time. In America, there are two very different schools of thought about how to talk to teens about sex. 1,500 miles and worlds apart. Well, there's the 12-step program of properly using a condom. So if you can think about 12 that. 12 steps? 12 steps. What's 100% effective? Abstinence. What's 100% effective? Abstinence. Can you live that way? Yes. Yes. In Haverhill, Massachusetts, they yeah. teach what's called comprehensive sex education. It presumes teens may have sexual intercourse. In the heat of the moment, you need to get that condom on quick, right? So let's go. Now they play a different little game down in Longview, Texas. In this state where abstinence is the main message, you're taught sex before marriage is a dangerous roll of the dice. A two. You have been notified you have herpes. Does any of that sound like something that you would want to happen in your genital area? No, no, I would think not. Tanya Waite has the perfect last name for her job. She's been giving kids good reasons to avoid sex ever since her days as a Texas beauty queen. I just get so fed up with it when I hear adults saying, well, what do you teach an absence education for? They're not going to do it anyway. You know, they're just a bunch of animals. You know, let's just try to protect them the best we can. That's not protecting them. That's putting them at higher 